Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty sweet, so let me show you what we got. Friends, this is the Land Cruiser P1500. Check this beast out. It is created by Leo and it is amazing. If you haven't seen, this thing got so big that we couldn't even work on it anymore. I created another video that shows you how to make complex objects more manageable. Friends, let's dive in and check this beast out. So let's do a quick go around before we do the notes. Leo spent a ton of time making this amazing project. Oh my gosh. So many wicked cool details, and what a fantastic project. So let's zoom in and check out some notes. So right down here, we've got this dude. He shows the scale of the machine. That is bonkers. Based on the Gustav gun created by the Germans, it takes the cake with an 80 centimeter barrel. The Germans first used this gun in World War II. The Dora artillery piece shown here had a concrete piercing explosive filling. It was a high explosive shell and they fired between 320 and 367 shells per day. That's bonkers. The beast had four of its own searchlights and they were used extensively in defense against nighttime bomber raids. They were controlled by the Dazzling Crew. What a funny name. Down here on the bottom, you'll know we have a Pac-43 anti-tank gun. It has almost a 10 centimeter barrel. And then right here, we have got the V3 mouse turret. Over here, we have the large ammo area. I'm going to hide that so we can get a better look as we move around. And right here we have the chassis deck. It is similar to what NASA uses on its crawler transport vehicle. How wild is that? I'm going to hide those too so it's easier as we move around. If we look right here, this is a conning tower. It is a raised platform on a ship or a submarine. It is often armored and it's from which an officer in charge can connect with the ZE crew on board. Check this out. It is one of four self-propelled anti-aircraft guns called the Wind. They can rotate a full 360 degrees and the cannons can even elevate 45 degrees. Those are wicked. If we look underneath it, this is called the Armored Plastron. It is underneath and it helps protect the mechanical beast. It also protects it from anti-tank landmines and claymores. That's cool. Note over here, we have got the bridge that controls the Carl Garrett chassis. It is located on the left. This is one of a set of eight tracked belts. The Gustav can patrol itself forward or back, rewind it, and also traverse tracks so that it can turn. In this location, we can find the fire control room. It has protection systems, a fire pump, secondary water, air handling systems, and communication equipment. Up here we find the main gun ammunition elevator. You could actually use your snap grid to nudge it forward and back. How cool is that? Notice here we have an ammo rack holder. It moves up and down and I suggest you have your snap grid set to brick. That's awesome. Right here friends we have the main gun auto rammer. Set your snap grid to 0.5 because the beast has a long reload process. That is amazing. As we move to this side, this bridge controls the right side of the vehicle. Here we note we have one of eight anti-tank machine guns. It was primarily used as an anti-aircraft weapon and it was used by onboard German personnel. Friends up here we have the monster's main gun. It was a 1500 ton mobile self-propelled platform for an 80 centimeter KE gun. The gun elevates to about 95 degrees. Leo estimates that there are more than 800,000 parts and don't forget there is a video up above that shows how we brought it back to life after it became too complex. 
Friends, we have got a bonus today. Leo has continued to add stuff. I gave that technique where you can work with larger Tinkercad projects, even though Leo is working on a Chromebook. Check out the things he has added since I recorded that first bit of footage. Over here, we've got detachable heavy gun stabilizers designed and used to work with the super heavy self-propelled gun. That is awesome. If we spin around to the back, we now have a crane extender boom arm. It's used to add and remove heavy shells from a separate loading truck. Once again, we could set the snap grid to brick if we wanted to try and make it work. I'm going to shut off the notes quick as we go around this. You'll notice now all these parts are connected the way they should be. Those were things that Leo was working on when the project first started having difficulties. Leo, it is so cool that you're able to get this finished. Dude, it's epic, and thank you so much for sharing with us. Friends, just a reminder, if you follow one of my tutorials, like, say, the awesome F1 car, of course, there will be a link up above, and you make something super cool and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click that button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if that doesn't work for you, don't forget my website, hlmodtech.com. It has the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, you'll also find all of the categories of Tinkercad lessons I have, and below that you'll find my day one lessons that are great if you're just starting to use Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, just want to say thanks again to Leo. Oh my gosh, love the time, effort, and skills you put into your awesome Tinkercad creations. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.